What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So as you see on the screen right now, 88 overall laner from the Bundesliga. He is a Bundesliga League SPC, so he is worth quite a bit. But look at the stats on the card. 93 pace, 85 defending, 89 physical, 83 dribbling, 83 passing and 75 shooting. Not one stat on that card is terrible. The guy can even half like decently shoot, it looks like. Now he is five foot nine, so he's quite small for a right back, but this year you don't obviously have to be big. Last year you obviously had to be big with the headers and stuff, but this year it doesn't matter. Now he has high high, uh, sorry, high high work rates, but if you put stay back while attacking on him, he won't go up, so it doesn't make a difference. He has got three star skill moves, which means when you're in a tight situation, he's not gonna be able to do like the Burma spin, which a lot or fullbacks can do and it's always helpful at some point but at the same time you he's more of a person that he because he can't do it you're not going to get into the situation that he can do it if you know what i mean now the four star weak foot is nice i'm going to be able to cut onto his left foot and hopefully pass with it he is on an anchor chem style he is obviously on 10 chem so he has 98 acceleration 98 sprint speed a very very fast fullback that will Hopefully be catching up the uh, players like the like of Adama Traore, Daniel James. We needed a fullback like this for a very, very long time. Now he has got 77 attack and positioning, 69 finishing, 85 shot power, 82 long shots, 69 volleys and uh, 52 penalties. Shooting wise, it's not even that bad to be fair to you. If it obviously comes down to the uh, edge of him, I will probably bang it. But at the same time, I'm not going to expect it to go in. Now, he's got 73 vision, 90 crossing, 90 short passing, 85 long passing, and 79 curve. Now, I like how the long passing is 85, and he's probably going to be able to do those through balls down the line. But at the same time, that 73 vision could hurt him quite a bit. Because usually 73 vision links up with the long passing. And if the vision is higher and the vision is higher and the long passing is lower, then it increases the long passing. But... If the long passing is high and the vision is lower, it, it looks like it downgrades it. So that could be an issue. But obviously, I'll be trying the over the tops down the line and see how it goes. Now, he has got 90 short passing as well, which means he's probably going to be a player that he can link up with no matter what. He has got 87 agility, 86 balance, 86 reactions, 81 ball control, 83 dribbling and 83 composure. Dribbling stats look insane to be fair to you. It, it looks like he's one of those players that if you pass to him, he's, he is going to be able to move. He is going to be able to move left and right. Just calm and composed on the ball. The only thing I'm seeing is 8-1 ball control. Sometimes I don't like my fullbacks with low ball control because if I switch from one side to another, I don't want them to be taking a bad touch. Now he has got 87 interceptions, which is very nice. He has got 87 heading accuracy. 88 defensive awareness, 99 standard tackle, and 99 standard tackle. The only one thing I'm looking at there is defensive awareness. Hopefully, he will read them like through balls down the line automatically. Also, those standing tackle is going to be very nice. It's going to be a very solid standing tackle, hopefully. And if it gets in the slide tackle and uh, chance, sorry, I will slide tackle, obviously, but I'm not promising anything. Now, the uh, 98, uh, sorry, the 98, 88 jumping, 87 heading accuracy. Him being 5 foot 9, yeah. He will win headers over like 5 foot 10, maybe 5 foot 11, pushing it. But I doubt he'll win it over anyone else above that height. Now, he has got 99 stamina, which means it's going to be lasting out throughout the whole game. Chasing Adama Traore, that's Daniel James. It's not going to be a problem. Now, he has got 82, sorry, 83 strength as well, which means he's half he's half strong, but the one thing I'm looking at is that 99 aggression. It's going to boost that strength. It's going to make him want to fight for the ball, and it's going to make him more, win more 50-50s. Now, today, I have linked him up with Sancho and Hamels. I will, I've also got the likes of Babu, uh, uh, Werner, and Bailey in the team. I think I pronounced that right. That's the, fir the first ever time me using him, pretty much. But no matter what, as long as I use a laner in A4 at the back, I don't think it matters what formation I'm using. But let's get straight into these games. So let's give him the ball just to get a quick feel of him. Oh, okay. He's super agile. And that right there is a beautiful switch. One thing. Obviously, his ball control is low. I want to know how he keeps control of that ball. Yeah, that's nice. I love the way he feels, though. That's the main thing. I've never actually felt like a... A right back this beat like look how agile he is i can tell you one thing i've used right back uh sorry i used right back i used trent arnold 
and team of the year and he's not as agile as this guy look at the pace man he's still going he's still going he feels like a honestly he feels like a like a winger a very very fast winger I like I'm gonna come across fake it just pressure Zola pretty much He's so, so fast. The way he gets from point A to point B in a split second makes me want to think that this guy is the real deal. He is running up now. I'm just going to one-two it quickly. Look at the amount of pace. He's going to catch up. He without a, without a problem to like the Dharma Traore and Daniel James, 100%. I want to know if he can do those through balls. Yeah, he took a bit of bounce, obviously, off, I think it was Zola. But at the same time, I could see it was the right animation to obviously go down the line. Straight on it. Straight onto it. He's so fast. The way you can literally charge at people with him, and the player will just panic 100%. It's a pretty decent touch, to be fair to him. He didn't get bodied there, which is always, always nice to see. He, he you know, can keep his, uh, keep his ground. He's made a beautiful run here. <sighs> Not the greatest touch going around the corner there, but at the same time, I feel, I do believe that was my fault as well because I was still holding RT. I should have just let go of RT. Should catch up. Look at that, man. Great defensive work. Just completely bodying Zola out the way. We know he's got high strength. We know he can do it. We know he's got that 99 aggression. So all day of the week is going to be doing that. Especially to Zola. He's all the way up top by himself. I like how he's gone a bit up here. I have got him on stay back while attacking. Use his amazing pace to get a wide open opportunity. But unfortunately we can't make it go in. But hey, I love the effort of him obviously going forward. His passing is amazing. The way he can find these tight corners and just run like that as well. Oh, I, I thought he was going to continue because I tell you what, if he continued making that run, we're in through on goal with him. Nice. The, one, the most effective thing about him, I must say, is his pace 100%. He is super, super fast. So we have got a penalty. And I must say, there's only one player you can take this with, surely, right? Now, I do believe this guy knows who I am. And if he watches my videos, he knows where I go. But let's actually find out because he is sweating his life away right now against me. He's passing around our back. Let us know tomorrow. I'm going to try to hit this top in. It is obviously going to be... Oh, my... That might actually be the best penalty take, uh, penalty I've ever actually took. Wow. Wow. And what do you know? It comes off someone that has apparently 56 penalties. <laughs> That's something to show for. Little fake shot around the corner. He is super fast, Ben. I'm going to actually overtop the ball to see how good it is. And it's perfect. Oh, the timing, obviously, for me wasn't great. But that ball, I can't complain. Eh? It was literally pinpoint. It allowed my winger to run onto it, which is exactly what I wanted. And it was just before the goalkeeper could get to it. So literally perfect. Sent Bailey on a run. Pass down the line. That's always nice to see. A player that can obviously pass down that line without the ball going out of bounds. It's such a big thing. And I have such a big struggle with like gold tomato. Just down the wing. Look at this, man. He, do you know who he feels like when he runs? He feels like a Dharma Traore. I'm dead up. He feels like a Dharma Traore when he runs. That's how good he is. Nice. Well, I'm loving this link up between Bailey and uh, Lena right now. Lena using his pace to get into the right position. He then obviously smacks it down line to Bailey. And I've, I don't, I haven't seen him actually screw up a pass down the line. Which, <laughs> that's something I honestly love to see. Because I tell you what, my gold tomato is a bit of a problem when that's happening. Are we going again? A beautiful pass once again. He doesn't screw it up, honestly. His pass down line is so, so good. Just run a little bit here. If I can. Look at this footwork. Keep going. Smack it across. Little header. 
just couldn't get to it. Very unfortunate. But people, that's what people aren't going to expect. A fullback just running straight at you. And that's sometimes my little strategy in foot champs as well. If the person is parking the bus or he has a lot of defenders, just get your wing back and just run at them with it. Because I tell you what, they won't come towards you if they can't catch up. One thing that he does struggle though, 100%, great tackle by the way, uh, is his interceptions. Because he's only 5'9", he hasn't got really got the biggest reach, I would say, aka range, to intercept that ball. So he does miss out on a lot of interceptions. From goal here, I'm going to actually over the top this. This is the true, true... It's an unbelievable ball. I understand Jordi Alba did catch up to Bailey, but that is not Lena's problem. The pro his problem is just getting that ball in the right position at the right time. And he did it. He did it perfectly. Great standing tackle once again. Just going to calm and compose. Turn of him because that's, that, that's exactly what you can do. Hey, must, he is the best feeling full, like dribbling fullback that I have actually used in this FIFA. 100% great pass once again i love the confidence when i sprint with him honestly i feel so comfortable he keeps the ball so close to his feet it's ridiculous so any point i can just change direction if i want to change and that's just unbelievable to see from especially a fullback nice little move Facial into the space. Use that pace to get round. Very, very unfortunate the guy did read it. But look how confident I feel with him just going forward. He's always there for a passing option, which is always nice to see. I even have him stay back while attacking, but he's still very, very high up. Now, that is obviously because of his high, high work rate. But I don't know. I kind of like him in that passing option role, if you know what I mean. This would be a perfect through ball, and it is. That's one thing. He's so consistent with those passes, man. And honestly, that's something that I have missed with, like, Samedo. Samedo is not the greatest consistent player at doing that. And that's just me being, you know, me just comparing him. So it is time to review him. And let me say, this card is something special. It is a very, very nice. And I would say it's probably one of the best right backs on this game, hands down. The only other person that I can compare this guy to is probably Team of the Year Trent Arnold. Because <laughs> this card, insane. The amount of pace is ridiculous. He can catch up to Adam. He can catch up to Daniel James. No problem. Now, I didn't obviously take a... Actually, I did take a shot of him, but it was a penalty. So it doesn't really count if you know what I mean. But he wasn't in any shooting positions, which you kind of expect. He's a fullback, so he's back on corners, and he's not going to really get any other chance right other than a corner, which he's not even up for, if you know what I mean. Passing-wise, this one thing that I did slack with Goal Tomato that I have used for one like 1,200 games is his passing. Yeah, his passing's decent, but it's not laners, if you know what I mean. The way laner just does that threaded through ball down the line, he can do it on the floor, he can do it uh, like over the top-wise. It's just insane, and I didn't see his 73 vision push down his long passing at all, which is always nice to see. Dribbling-wise, he's the best dribbler as a fullback that I have tested. I've tested, uh, it was called Tierney, I've tested all those players, Team Nia Trent, if you know what I mean. And Lena is definitely, definitely the best dribbler I have seen. The way he feels on the ball, the way he turns, the way he keeps it nice and close to his feet. He can turn in and out without a problem. 87 agility is something you don't see on a fullback every single day. Now, the interceptions was a bit of a problem because he's not really big, so he hasn't got that reach and he doesn't cover a big ground. He is 5'9", so he isn't the biggest of players. But at the same time, when it was close to him, like really, really close to him, yeah, he would intercept the ball. But you also have to think about this is where, like, this is where big players down the line usually comes into play if you get a big fast player down the line like i don't know dumfries that's where his interceptions gonna come into play now the defensive awareness was nice he was tracking runs by himself so that's always nice to see standing tackle when he did get there it was a nice strong standing tackle that he comes out with the ball i would say nine times out of ten now the slide tackle didn't really have a chance to slide tackle so i'm not gonna really go into that much jumping wise 
he didn't really win a header because he, you know, he didn't really attempt a header, if you know what I mean. There wasn't really a heading opportunity at the fullback position because not a lot of people kind of cross the ball nowadays. Now, the stamina-wise, unbelievable. Lasted throughout the whole game, going forward, going backwards, no problem. Strength-wise, and I do want to get into strength a little bit because I did say at the start the 99 aggression would obviously help with that strength. But it kind of didn't. The aggression kind of helped with him just being faster and moving more 50-50s if he, you know, if he needs to. But the strength-wise, you're going to have a problem with him. Something like Team of the Year Trent. The reason I gave him a 9 out of 10 was because of that strength. And you do need strength on a fullback. And that is 100% his biggest downgrade. That strength. But I had to give this card a rating out of 10. And I'm going to give him the same rating. 9 out of 10. I do believe this is one of the best fullbacks in the game. Ha hands down. No doubt. But if this card had strength, it's 100% I'm giving, it, giving him a 10 out of 10. That's how good Lena is. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.